morning and welcome to another episode of What's Up with Mr. Beck. It is Tuesday, June 9th, 2020. Yeah, I'm still kicking it in Pittsburgh. We got a quick episode today, so let's get right into some good news. Please, please, please make sure you're sending good news each day. I need it. It helps get me through the day. Drink my coffee right now. Drinking the water because it's absolutely really good. Late at night. Um, don't eat any coffee right now. Um, also, Media Project, be thinking about it. Due Friday. What day Friday? Oh my God, it's due this week. Yes, it is due this week. We'll get more into it later. So, hit it, Jada. Hi, my name is Jada, and I'm going to be doing um, Tell Me Something Good. I hope you enjoy it. Something good. One good news for me is that we get to um, jump on a trampoline a lot and um, spend time and have fun on that with my siblings. So that's my good news for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. We got Emma who got to hang out with Amelia. Cool. What did you guys do? I can tell you guys missed each other in the picture. Uh, and you got to. Help Grandma get her pool set up. Awesome. That was very nice of you. I also benefited you too, right? I love seeing all the swimming pools in action. Everybody's getting going. Cool. Then we got Avea. My good news is that I am going to be going over to my neighbor's house and hanging out. You have written a word here that I don't know. It's Oligij. So maybe you could explain that to me. And hanging out there for a while. Noah, I'm going to save Noah's. Not yet. So then I've got Brock. We make flower bed. We made flower beds this weekend. It was hard work, but it was worth it. From Brock. Thank you, Brock. Those flower beds look awesome, man. You've got to come to my house and start setting up those flower beds for me because, man, that looks like a lot of work. And I've become a little bit of a gardener, man. But right now, Pittsburgh, not getting it done. Don't worry, my dad's, my step, my, my father-in-law is mowing the lawn for me. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate you. So Noah is dropping a little sad news on us, but he wants you guys to know. So here's what it says. This isn't much of good news, but I'm moving back to Wellsville. The good news about that is I'm finishing up the year in Cuba. Good, because you really rocked it. During this, Noah, I am so proud of you. I've been proud of you since day one. You have done every single assignment. You never lost your homework. You brought your A game every single time. Never had a nag you. You sent good news. I really appreciate you, and I appreciate you finishing strong here. So thanks for sending me good news. Okay? Uh, and he's also adding this. Also... I have a big house. Cool. Very exciting. Okay, so that's it for good news. Thank you, everybody who shared good news. I'll share a little good news about Aylin. Aylin had a little uh, surgery uh, yesterday, for you guys of yesterday, um, where they drain, so her stomach's really full of ascites, which is like a fluid that she has because of her liver not working properly. And so she's got this really big belly that looks kind of silly. And they drain some of the ascites from her belly. So now she's a little bit more comfortable while we wait for her liver transplant. So that's my good news. She's been happy the whole time. So I don't want to say like to help make her happy, but maybe comfortable. I could see why she wouldn't be comfortable. Okay, so I'm going to do today's uh, to-do list. Okay, so pretty easy. Watch What's Up With Mr. Beck. Check! Send the character of the day. He's got a purple lightsaber. Um, you're going to work on your final draft, and you're going to work on your media project. Now, when you're working on that media project, I want to like throw this idea at you. You to, Today is Tuesday. You have Wednesday, Thursday. It's due Friday. I'm willing to look at them Monday, Tuesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, if you want to send it to me and see if I think it's good enough or not. Okay? Or you could risk it. Just throw it in there on Friday. I'm not even going to let you think about turning them in early 
I'm, you're not going to be able to turn them in on Teams until Friday. Or Thursday, not Friday. I'll open it up Thursday for you early birds who are done. Okay? So I what you can do is you can send it to me in Teams in chat. This doesn't count as turning it in. This counts as me checking it and seeing if I can give you some tips to make it better. So if you think it'll help you feel better uh, about turning it in, you can send that to me anytime, and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Like I said before, uh, my life is kind of like uh, it's with. I have to go with the flow, right? So I, Aylin could get a liver tomorrow, right? And I just have to go with the flow. So if I have to go with the flow there, I'll just expect patience from you, and I know I'll get it. All right, so that's that. That's almost the whole show here, so let's hit it with the precept. So today's precept is you are what you do, not what you say you're going to do. And what does that mean? Man, we could say we're going to do a lot. Yeah, Mom, I'll pick up my room later. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll practice. Don't worry. Oh, I'll, I'll come over later. It doesn't matter what you say you're going to do good person, a positive person, a role model, does the things they, are, they say they're going to do. And this kind of brings me to like how I've been evolving um, since I've become a teacher. So my second year, I had this amazing student. Her name was Caitlin Radomsky. And she said to me at the end of the year, Mr. Beck, I wish that you gave us Bex Bucks for all the things you said you were going to give us Bex Bucks for. And that one really, like, stuck me in the heart. Because, like, Kate Radomsky is an amazing student. And I know there's times when I would be like, hey, if you guys do this, I'll get you 20 Bex Bucks. And then they, Caitlin would always do it. And then I wouldn't give her the Bex Bucks. And that kind of made her sad. And so it kind of makes me sad that that happened. So I kind of made it my mantra this year to be, uh, and you guys have seen this and I've talked about it a lot, I wear it on my neck now, and it's because of Caitlin Radomsky, um, it's octa non verba, deeds, not words, because talk is cheap, man. You could say you're going to do everything, but are you really going to do it? And the thing that, uh, it doesn't really hurt anyone if you say you're going to do something and you don't do it, but... It hurts the way people think of you. And I think of you all as amazing people. I don't want to make sure that you are awesome. So like a, today's precept, you are what you do. So make sure you're doing the right thing, not what you say you're going to do. Okay, today's character of the day is Mace Windu. He's got a purple lightsaber, and he's awesome. Okay. That's all the time we have for today's show. So as always, hashtag choose kind, hashtag stay awesome, Mr. Beck out.